Hey guys, welcome back to Medical Coding with Blue. It is Christmas in July. So uh, this is the Gentle Urinary Specialty Edition for Medical Coding. Uh, if you're brand new to my channel, welcome. I am Blue, I'm a medical coder. I have been a medical coder for over 10 years. I really love sharing the things that I know with all of you. So I hope you'll take a second, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and at the end of this video helps you, I hope that you will share it. Okay, so let's get started, all right. Uh, we are in a little bit of a change of venue today. <laughs> I just thought it would be different just to get out of the house for a little bit. So I'm out of the house and so hopefully this lighting is okay because I have the dome light on inside. We are in my beautiful Sasha. That's what I call my car, Sasha. Yes, she does have a name. <laughs> All right. Uh, so we're talking about Gento Urinary today. Now, what does the Gento Urinary System, what is it made of, right? So it is made of the kidneys, the ureter, the urinary bladder, and the urethra. The kidneys form the urine and account for the other functions attributed to the urinary system. The purpose of the urinary system is to eliminate waste from the body, regulate blood volume and blood pressure, control levels of electrolytes and metabolites, metabolites? <laughs> and regulate blood pH. So that is the first part and with the urinary system like coding in the cpt like the procedures and stuff like that it is very important as we know to make sure that the provider is documenting left or right because this is important in anything that you do that has paired organs okay so <laughs> this is something to keep in mind um, the code range in the icd-10 cm book is from the gentle urinary diseases are from N00 to N99. So one of the things that I wanna talk about that is very important is the stages of chronic kidney disease. If a provider is documenting that a patient has chronic kidney disease, they need to be sure to always state what stage that chronic kidney disease chronic kidney disease is at, okay? <laughs> and if they're not, then you need to work with them. This is about the detail but it is also for the purpose of clinical documentation improvement this is going to give us more specific codes uh, because of course you know that there is a range of the different um, stages of ckd in the icd-10 manual so that is something to keep in mind but one of the notes from the optum 360 uh, ICD-10 CM Expert for Physicians Edition. You all know <laughs> that I love my Optum 360 books. This is not an ad, but Optum 360, if you're listening, okay. <laughs> um, so one of the notes that they do have in the book, because at the beginning of each section in the tabular section, it will tell you uh, little scenarios and when to apply certain codes, right? So if it says this, both if both the stage of CKD, right? and ESRD, which is end stage renal disease, if they are both documented, you're only going to assign the N18.6, that is for the end stage renal disease. So if they do have a stage, right, of chronic kidney disease there, plus they are stating that they have um, ESRD, then you're, that ESRD is gonna override, okay? So then you know that you would only pick up the ESRD. So that is one of those detail things make sure that you are looking if you have a if you have that book make sure that you're looking in each section and if you are a urology coder there is a wonderful channel that i'm going to leave a link to this is dr john lynn's channel he is amazing he's very detailed i call him a medical journalist <laughs> but he's actually a wonderful urologist and he uh we've done an interview together before and he is very very smart when it comes to the coding part he is one of those providers that I really enjoy working with um, when they know <laughs> they know how to document they know how to code okay he is one of those ones that he will dig and do the research and he knows what he's doing when it comes to applying codes so I hope you'll um, go over to his channel if you're if you are a urology coder or any kind of coder and I hope you'll give him a follow and a like uh, because he's got lots of really good information and even if you are not a urology coder it's always good to know and understand what sort of um, 
equipment that they're using and he does a lot of like demonstrations and stuff on his channel which i think is awesome when you see things like that and you may not think well why do i have to know about different uh procedures and different uh, equipment why do i have to know about that well you should learn about it because of the simple fact that it's going to help you when you are reading when you're reading the notes and you're reading the uh the procedure and the op notes it's going to help you to know hey i know what that uh procedure what it what it's like and what it entails this way if any documentation is missing you'll know right not that you're looking to fill in the holes but you are looking to make sure that the documentation accurately is reflecting what is being uh coded okay so that is very important this is why i tell you guys that looking at these other procedures and watching them so that you understand them is going to make you a better coder and that's doing above and beyond you know what i'm saying like you've got to do that that is not something that is an option <laughs> that is definitely not an option you have to do that and in order to be a high caliber coder that's something that you have to invest in okay um some of the other things that i could talk about with urology when it comes to the procedure coding for urology you have to make sure that you're reading the description of the procedure code because sometimes certain other procedures are included in those procedure codes like the cystoscopy a lot of times that is already included in a procedure code so always make sure that you are checking all right because you will get edits um, in the book i mean not in the book but in the encoder and if you don't understand why you're getting these edits you may just slap a modifier on there and then just send it on through not really understanding that this is probably already included this is why i'm telling you guys it's very important read the description of the um, procedure in the decoder desk reference and you can usually find that on the encoder as well they do have a tab uh, for like the little stack of books for reference and then you can look um, and it'll it'll tell you what the lay um, description of that procedure code is so this way you can doubly make sure <laughs> uh, that you are doing the correct um, code in the cpt uh, book there it's broken down into three the gentle urinary procedures are broken down into three okay so they have your regular gentle urinary and then they have specific to female and then they have specific to male genitalia so this is very important to understand read the beginning of that section as well there's lots of really helpful tips throughout the book the cpt ama edition um and it'll it'll just help you okay it's all about helping and uh, i am going to be including a link to the mail clinic there's a couple of links one is for ckd when it's talking about ckd and specifics the other one is um for gentle urine i mean the urinary system not gentle urinary but the <laughs> the urinary system uh and it's breaking down the different diseases and the disease processes okay so this is that pathology and understanding what it is and where it comes from and why it is so so that is uh something to to look at it's a reference for you guys i'm including it uh so hopefully it'll help you if you are a urology coder um with these specialty clinics uh i really like talking about the specialty clinics because then you're it's more concentrated and then you're able to really dive into what is happening with this particular patient keep in mind that diabetes plays a huge part in this uh this section as well and so does uh chronic kidney disease and so does hypertension so keep these things in mind these are very important to this particular body system okay much like um uh, heart disease is is very integral to peripheral vascular disease and all of those things you have to keep these things in mind okay so i hope that you've enjoyed this and i know this is sort of brief but when it comes to to knowing where to look look for your resources these are it's very straightforward uh the urinary system i like it because it is straightforward <laughs> it is really straightforward and um you can find those diagnoses between the n00 to n99 you can also find them in the neoplasm section and also in the 
the injury section, okay? And of course, in the uh, signs and symptoms section <laughs> uh, as well. So I hope this helped and I hope you've enjoyed these. We've got two more, two more sessions, I think. Yes. Uh, and then we'll be be done for Christmas in July. <laughs> but this has been really fun. I really like these. I've been enjoying these. So I hope you take a second and look at those uh, resources that I'm leaving down in the description box below because they are going to help you. All right, I'm going to wrap it up. So if you are a medical coder, a medical coding student, somebody curious about the fascinating world of medical coding, a provider or a nurse, I invite you to like and subscribe and follow me on my journey in medical coding. I will see y'all next time. Bye.